ग्रीटिंग्स ऑफ द डे डियर चिल्ड्रेन लेट अस कंटिन्यू विद क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर ऑफ एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट सेवन ना दिस क्वेश्चन इज अगेन सिमिलर टू योर क्वेश्चन थ्री एंड फोर इन दिस क्वेश्चन थ्री जीरोज आर देयर वी हैव टू डिवाइड द गिवन नंबर विद थाउजेंड सेम मेथड वी विल अप्लाई वॉट वी विल डू हेयर आई हैव टेकन द फर्स्ट पार्ट इट इज सेवन पॉइंट नाइन कीप इट इन द फ्रैक्शनल फॉर्म डिवाइड बाय थाउजेंड अपॉन थाउजेंड नाउ देर आर थ्री जीरोज द पॉइंट विल move three jumps towards the left side one jump two jump three jump now point will come here again you can see two blank spaces are there so in those spaces we will write the zero and the answer will become 0.0079 again there is no number before decimal sign i have inserted one zero so this is our answer 0.0079 Let's move ahead with third part. Thirty-eight point five three divided by thousand. Again, your first step is to write the number in the fractional form. Now, three zeros are there in the denominator. How many jumps? Three jumps toward which side? Left side, as it is in division form. So, one jump. Two jump and three jump. Now in this part there is an empty space between the decimal point and the number. So in that case we have to write a zero three eight five three. Now before decimal no number is there. You have to insert zero. So this was your third part of question four. Let us move ahead with another part which is fifth part zero point five. So again, same step. First step, zero point five upon thousand. Now number of jumps three. Which side? Left side. One jump, two jump, three jump. The decimal has come this here. Now empty spaces are two. We'll write zero. So the answer is zero point zero 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 five. So this was your question number four of exercise two point seven. Let's move ahead with question number five now. In question number five, you can see whole number is in front and decimal number is after the uh, division sign. मतलब that decimal number is now our divisor. How we are going to do? What we can do? In that case, first what we will do? Just write the given numbers in your fractional form. now we will remove the decimal from the denominator and as we will remove it one zero we will add to numerator in this case we are just removing the decimal and adding a zero to the numerator it has become 70 upon 35 now simply we'll divide 70 with 35 it will be 35 to the 70 and the answer has come 2 so in this way you will solve Let's move ahead with third part. When both both numbers are in decimal, what to do? Same method. Either the second number is in decimal or both numbers are in decimal. We'll follow the same method. First, write both the numbers in the fractional form. Now we have to remove the decimal sign. To remove the decimal sign, the number of digits should be same after the decimal, which means like here in numerator after decimal two digits are there, but here in denominator after decimal one digit is there. So what I will do? I'll write one zero to it, and then this decimal will remove with this decimal. We are making decimal equal. So after decimal, the number of digits should be same to remove the decimal. Now it has become three hundred and twenty-five divided by fifty. Simply, we'll divide three hundred and twenty-five by fifty. So what is the step? Fifty six a three hundred. So the remainder is twenty-five. Now we'll not leave it like this. What we will do? Just add decimal sign to your answer. and when we will add the decimal sign to the answer we can write zero with the remainder this is the help of decimal that is why we write the numbers in decimal we can insert the decimal sign in our answer to write a zero a with the remainder now it has become 250 we can easily divide 55s are 250 now therefore our answer has come it is 6.5 whenever now any remainder is left 
we can uh, solve the remainder by adding a decimal sign to the answer and writing the zero with the denominator and we can solve it let and uh, let us understand it an, uh, again with another example which is six part 7.75 divided by 0 0.25 again our first step is to write the given number in a fractional form now here in this part you all can see clearly after decimal two digits are there in both numerator as well as in denominator this decimal sign will be removed like that only no need of adding the zero to it so it has become 775 divided by 25 now we'll divide it 25 threes are 75 remainder is 2 we'll copy 5 again 25 ones are 25 so there in this question no need of writing a decimal point or adding a zero this was uh, solved as it is and the answer has come 31 so this was your question number 5 of exercise 2.7 Let's move ahead with the last question. A vehicle cover a distance of 43.2 kilometers in 2.4 liters of petrol. Means in 2.4 liters of petrol, a distance covered by a vehicle is 43.2 kilometers. How much distance will it cover in 1 liter? Now they are asking for the lesser quantity. If in question they are asking for the lesser quantity, we divide the given numbers. If they are asking for more, we multiply. And if they are asking for less, we divide. So so you need to write the statement first in 2.4 liters of petrol a vehicle cover a distance of 43.2 kilometers it is given in question they are asking in 1 liter of petrol so what we will do we will divide the distance with the liter for 43.2 kilometers divided by 2.4 again both numbers are in decimal what is the step first to write them in fractional form you can see after decimal one digits are there in both numerator as well as denominator we'll remove the decimal sign as it is the number has become the fraction has become 432 divided by 24 now simply we'll divide it 24 ones are 24 remainder 19 is left we'll copy 2 with it and 24 eights are 192 therefore 18 kilometers in one liter the vehicle will travel so the answer statement is the distance it will cover in one liter is 18 kilometer this was your question number six of exercise 2.7